Hello. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to design a vintage monogram logo. I will make a GB monogram because I found it a bit complicated, and will allow me to show more details. Make sure to watch to the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me anything in the comment section. Have a nice watching. Select the rectangle tool, and make a rectangle like this. Increase the stroke size a little. Maintain Alt and drag it up. Decrease the width a little from the right side. OK, we have a letter B. Now, with the pen tool we will make the letter G. Make it in one line that cross the letter B from both side up and down. It's easy, only 5 clicks with the pen tool. Now, we will make the space between the lines equal. To make the monogram look balanced. With the direct selection tool, select the two anchor points of this line and drag it to the middle of the top side of letter B. Now, select this line, and bring it a little to the right. OK, the negative space look balanced now. With the direct selection tool, Select the three right corners of the letter B and all the corners of the letter G. If you have Adobe Illustrator CC version, live corners widgets will appear. Drag one of them, and all selected corners become rounded. If you don't have CC version, I will upload a tutorial soon on how to round corners with any version of Illustrator. OK, so far so good. I will make this line shorter. With the pen tool, click on the top line of the letter B, and make a straight line that goes out from the left side. Do the same thing to the bottom part. Select everything, go to object, then click on expand, then press OK. Go to the Pathfinder and press on Unite. Now, we will take off some parts, so the intersections of the two letter will stand out. OK, with the Rectangle tool, make a little vertical rectangle here, aligned with the letter B and cross the letter G. Hold Alt, then drag it down, then rotate it by 90 degrees. Make it aligned with the letter G and cross the letter B. Hold Alt again, and drag the first one here, and make it aligned with the letter B. Zoom in and press Ctrl Y to activate the outline view and make it perfectly aligned. Finally, maintain Alt and drag the horizontal rectangle and make it aligned with the letter G here. Zoom out and press Ctrl Y. Hold Shift and select all rectangles, then press Ctrl G to group them. Hold Shift and select the monogram. Go to the Pathfinder, and press minus front. OK, the monogram stands out now. With the Direct Selection tool, select this part of the letter G, and with the left arrow bring it more to left, to balance the negative space. Select this anchor point and bring it to left.
Now with the pen tool. One click here, then click above and drag the handle, to make a rounded line that fits the corner of the B. One click and close the shape. Maintain shift and select the new shape with the monogram, go to the pathfinder, and click on minus front. Now, I will add some serifs to give it more vintage look. With the rectangle tool, make a vertical rectangle here. Then hold out, and drag it to the bottom part. Now, hold out, and drag it to the top part of the letter G. Ok, I will make this part shorter. Now, with the direct selection tool select the half of the monogram, then with the right arrow, decrease the width of the two letters. Select everything, and from the pathfinder, press unite. Ok, this is our monogram, it looks good but I want to add some texture to it. Ok, this is a free grunge texture that I downloaded from Red Peg Design, you will find the link in the description. Ok, select the monogram. Go to the transparency panel, then from the menu button, click on make opacity mask. Uncheck the clip checkbox, then check the invert mask checkbox. Select the texture and press Ctrl X to cut it. Select the monogram. And click on this white square, in the right side. Press Ctrl V to paste the texture, put it on top of the monogram and make it bigger. Now, Press on the left white square to go out of the opacity mask. Congratulations we made our vintage monogram. Ok then, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and activate the notification bell to get notified whenever there is something new. See you in the next tutorial.